Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to part 27 of our mini devotional series titled You Are Exploring Our Identity in Christ Jesus in Ephesians chapter 1 and 2. And we're down in verse 22 uh, this morning where Paul writes the following. He says, and in him, you two are being built together to be a dwelling. He uses the word temple in the previous verse to be a dwelling in which God lives by his Holy Spirit. And there's our word for this morning. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, Paul has already used two other metaphors to convey to us the Spirit's work in our lives as it relates to our identity in Christ Jesus. We've already discovered that we are filled with the power of God. We've learned that we have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. But here he introduces a third metaphor to kind of round out chapter two. And he says that you're a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is kind of curious because he could have said you're the home of the Holy Spirit or the house of the Holy Spirit or the residence of the Holy Spirit. But instead he uses this word temple, which I think is significant. You see, by using the word temple when talking about how the Spirit lives within us, Paul is conveying the idea to us that our bodies are sacred. They're sacred space. They're like a shrine, not only a place where the Spirit dwells, but a place where the Spirit is to be honored and to be revered and to be worshipped. There's lots of mystery surrounding this, but the idea that we're a temple of the Holy Spirit really brings home to us that when Jesus said, I'm never going to leave you nor forsake you, he really meant it because he's dwelling within us by his spirit. There's also mind-blowing truth here because if you think about it for a while, you realize the God of all creation, the one that sustains everything, the one for whom and through whom everything has been made and holds together, this God dwells within me by his spirit. I mean, the mind just wants to go you know it's it's crazy and yet at the same time it brings to us such incredible assurance because it means if god is in us he's going to be at work in us literally in us transforming us from the inside out as he molds and shapes us and transforms us into the likeness of his son jesus it's absolutely incredible as he teaches us to walk in step with the holy spirit it's amazing. It's reassuring. It's comforting. You are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you as you go out into this day. And Father, especially with this verse in mind, we pray, fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. And, and we ask, Holy Spirit, that we would be a place, our bodies would be a place where you are welcomed, revered and worshipped. And we would learn how to host your presence in our lives in increasing measure. In Jesus' name, we ask it. Amen. May you find that this truth grips you, lifts you out of the mud and mire, and sets your feet upon a very firm foundation. Thanks so much for connecting again this morning, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless.